Hello, this is Catalytics and welcome to today's session. In today's brief video, we are going to put all the statistical concepts into context. A few of those who watch our videos seem to see or guess that it's all about mathematics and calculations. However, this video will bring to the fore some useful application of the concepts we have been trying to establish in these various videos. So these are published works and we are going to explore their method section and their results section. The method section is just going to give us an idea of the names of the concepts which we have spoke about intensively on the platform. That is the YouTube channel here. And we'll see how they have been made use of in the results section. So without wasting much time, we have three articles that we are going to look at. The first one was published in the Frontiers in Endocrinology, and the title is Risk Factors for Chronic Kidney Disease Among Type 2 Diabetic Patients with Longer Duration of Diabetes. Now, the second one we'll be looking at is the knowledge about neonatal danger signs and associated factors among mothers of children aged 0 to 12 months in a rural county, southwest of China, a cross sectional study. And finally, we look at asymptomatic testing parasitic infestation among children under five years in selected communities in the home municipality gown. Now, for the first one, we are going to look at, we are going to explore the method section and see what statistical analysis was done. So when we come to, when we come to the statistical analysis section of the manuscript, sorry, of the published paper, we have here statistical analysis was performed using statistical software SPSS version 21. So there are a number of videos on our platform where we use SPSS to run this statistical analysis. So you may want to try to learn more on that using this platform or our YouTube channel. Now it means that categorical data were summarized as percentage and continuous data were presented as mean and standard deviation. Yeah, so we explain this concept. So this part that I've highlighted is basically descriptive statistics. And so for categorical outcomes, we usually present them as frequencies and percentages. And then for continuous variables or quantitative variables, depending on whether they are normally distributed or not, then we either use the mean plus or minus standard deviation for the normal distribution, or we use the median into bracket and tapata ring for non-parametric or the normal distribution. So basically, you may want to scroll through our videos right here on this channel and watch uh, the various videos that are dedicated to descriptive statistics, and you'll be able to explore this into more details. Now, they also run ANOVA, which is analysis of variance, and we're going to see how that is done. So right here on this platform, too, we have um, videos on ANOVA analysis. And so if you want to check how to use this data platform to be able to do that, you can also use SPSS to do that and JASP as well as others. So just scroll through these videos right on this platform and you'll be able to enrich your knowledge on that. Now, they also run chi square tests, which is also one of the tests that we spoke about on this channel. So you can equally find more information about that. And then the interpreted odds ratio. Odds ratio interpretation. There's a video here that explains or helps you to be able to interpret it. Now let's go to the resource section and see. So this is the ANOVA table. So we have one, two, three categories of a continuous variable like age. So we want to see how it varies among these three categories. And so when you have such comparison between more than two categories, then the best statistic of choice is ANOVA. So that is what was done here. And they presented the concomitant or corresponding p-values here. Now for this one, gender is a categorical outcome or variable. And so this was a chi-square that was done. We do ANOVA for quant quantitative or continuous variables and not categorical variables. So those that have this bracket bracket things, meaning that we run chi-square on it. So they mentioned in the method section that they also use chi-square in the categorical value analysis. So that is what we expect for that. 
So perhaps they may have added some asterisks here just to distinguish the chi square from the ANOVA analysis. That would have been more informative to the one who is reading, like you and I. Then this particular table too is a chi square analysis because we are looking at the the proportion among three categories. Uh, so we are looking at proportional difference between categorical outcomes. So this also qualifies for a chi square analysis. And this is where we are looking at the odds ratio calculations, which is a logistic binary, binary logistic regression analysis. So the outcome is two, is binary, and we are looking at what is the odds of it. So this is the odds ratio, and then the corresponding p-values that have been associated with it. So if you watch our video on binary logistic regression, it will help you to be able to know how to run this table and organize your table to look just like this. Now for the next article, we are looking at the, the method section again to see what they have done. So here it says the data processing and analysis. We are interested in the analysis. So they've done, um, so the score was represented with means and then standard deviations. So it helps you to see that the variables are all normally distributed and that is why they choose means and standard deviation to represent them. Then they also did a binary logistic regression analysis, and they also did bivariable analysis and then multivariable logistic regression analysis. This will help you to be able to get the adjusted odds ratio, and then this will help you to get the uh, odds ratio the, or the crude odds ratio, and then you do a comparison after um, comp comparison. So we are going to look at the tables. So basically, it's a descriptive statistic. So we have the categories, the corresponding percentages, and then the frequency. Then uh, we have the mean and standard deviation here, descriptive stats. And then we have um, yeah, the logistic regression table here. So this is the adjusted odds ratio. So after doing a multivariable analysis or logistic regression analysis, we are able to adjust for some variables. And then this one is a bivariable analysis where we are just looking at the independent variable and the dependent variable together in logistic regression. So that is what this was done. And, and, and basically this is how we were able to get these results. Now, finally, in this article, we are looking at what did, it, what did this article was now a very familiar person. Yeah, very familiar person. So now, the statistical analysis beats. So here, Fisher's exact test was done. We did a Fisher's exact test, and then we look at the different proportions. We also did a binary logistic regression analysis to establish odds ratio. And then we look at the p-value of significance at 0 0.05, less than that. So. This is a descriptive statistics, and this is a chi-square analysis for the proportional distribution across the various categories, and the p-value is not statistically significant. This is just a descriptive statistics presenting our frequencies and the percentages. And then we also have the efficient results because the expected values for this may be less than five, for which reason efficient results is more appropriate. And then we also have the binary logistic regression analysis because the outcome of interest is either the person has intestinal parasitic infestation or not. So that is binary. And we want to see how these factors contribute to that outcome. And so we have the odds ratio and the confidence in the 195 and then the associated p values being presented. So basically, this is how you can really make meaning out of the various concepts that we have explored on this channel. They can actually be used in several ways to be able to make scientific deductions of any data that we have. You may want to find out different articles and see how they explore these concepts in making scientific deductions and contributing to knowledge. If you find content such as this useful, we want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel Turn on your post notification bell so you are always notified whenever a new video is released. 
And so we'll be taking on our next one. This is Kabilitics and it's a bye.